All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're gonna show you today is how to change out your sand in a sand filter. Uh, we're getting ready for pool season here and it's been, you know, about four years and you're supposed to change it out roughly three to five years. Also, it's depending on, you know, how often you use it and run it and, you know, how much junk you get in your pool or if you start seeing sand coming out into your pool, that's a telltale sign to go ahead and replace the sand in here. So what happens is you have your laterals down inside here and if once the sand starts to get worn down, it starts to round out and get smaller and smaller, it's not filtering anymore, it'll get pushed through these laterals. There's little slats in there and uh, it'll start coming out in your pool and that's a telltale sign to go ahead and replace your sand as well. Uh, but also, I'll show you how to check your laterals and make sure that they're not broken because that could be another issue if you have sand coming in your pool. But let's go ahead and get into this and I'll show you how to do it. So our sand filter here, I already got it disconnected from the winter uh, on both sides here. And now we need to go ahead and take out the two screws on here which hold this ring, which keep the head on here. So let's go ahead and remove these two screws. There's one on each side and we'll pull the head off. A number three bit, which is a thick one that looks like that because that's what fits those. There we go, so there's half the ring, and these are the nuts that hold it in there. So there's the two nuts, and we got our two screws out. You can pull these right off the ring. So now you should be able to pull the head off here, just like that. Let's scoot this over to the side. And you can see all the junk in there and stuff. So you also have to know how much sand your sand filter takes. I did have labels here, but unfortunately we have goats. And as you can see, they're even eating the sandbag here, but they ate our label off. So a trick you can do is just take a Sharpie if you see your sand in here, and this will give you a rough estimate. And you can just mark it. Mark that right on the tube and that'll give you an idea of how much sand to put in there. But I know how much this takes. This is a 150 pound sand tank and we got our three bags there. So if you don't know, this is just a good way before you take all your sand out to give you a rough idea of how much sand uh, you do have in there. Uh, or if you do know your model number, you could always look it up and that'll tell you how much sand these hold. So don't worry about uh, knowing how much sand is there, there's easy ways to figure it out. The easiest way and the best tool to have, instead of trying to take this and lift it or move it, doing anything like that, is make sure you got a good shop vac. And we're gonna go ahead and shop vac all the sand out of there. And this is gonna be a lot easier because we haven't opened the pool and we had already drained this uh, back in the fall. So the sand's gonna come out pretty easy. And then we can, I'll go ahead and show you how to disassemble the laterals from this to actually take the whole thing out to inspect. So let's go ahead and get the sand out of here. And one more thing, when you are putting this in there, don't jam it down because you don't want to break your laterals. Because remember, everything's plastic in here. So just go gentle with this and let it suck up all the sand. So I unclipped the top. So you might need to do a couple trips of emptying this, uh, depending on what size shop vac you got. But make sure you pay attention to that, otherwise you won't be able to suck up any more sand, it'll just fill. All 
All right, so now we got it, the sand down to where we can go ahead and lift this up and start taking off the laterals, which are those black pieces that run out to the sides. Because you won't be able to just pull this straight out. You got to twist those off and it's just counterclockwise. And just be careful while you're doing this, obviously, because it's plastic. Don't squeeze too hard because they are easy to break. But we'll go ahead and remove those and pull this out. That way we can go ahead and get the rest of the sand out of here without destroying or possibly breaking our laterals. So we can lift this up. So you can see there's all your laterals. Shake some of the sand off there. But we're just going to twist those counterclockwise and take them off one by one and then we should be able to pull this right out. All right, so I put a little water in here to show you. You can see the sand, how it's filled in all the laterals there, the really tiny pieces. So this can also cause clogging, and uh, this is where those tiny bits of sand will start getting shot in your pool after so many years. So that's just another thing to think about. When you take these laterals out, just clean them out really good. And then that way you got a really good working lateral so when we take them off we'll just clean them out really good so you're simply just going to twist these counterclockwise just like this and they should pop out some are a little tough and there you go you may need to use a set of pliers right along the edge here on this point to go ahead and give it a turn if it's they're really stuck um, but just be very careful because remember it's plastic and then we'll just work our way around taking all these out just like that and we got one left you can actually pull it right out and now you can see it you just turn it there you go so now we can go ahead and clean this up. We'll go ahead and clean out all of our laterals and we'll also inspect them. Make sure that, that these little slots here aren't cracked or anything because that's where you'll get your sand coming through if you know sand in your pool. Or like I said, if the sand is worn down so much it's actually going through the laterals, time to replace it. Okay, so another thing to remember, uh, different types of sand filters will have a different amount of laterals or you may even have the kind that you can fold up so just know which kind of uh, sand filter you have the kind that fold up is really nice because then you don't have to try and twist them off in there because it is kind of tough to get them especially with all the sand in there and, and if it's sitting there for years uh, but they do make the different styles and here we go so like this one this has eight laterals some have six it just all depends on what size sand filter you have um, but that's just something to be aware of. There's the kind that will actually fold up like this and then you can pull it straight out with no issues or this type that you actually have to twist out. Uh, otherwise you're not getting it out without breaking them. So they twist out of there. And like I said, if, if you do get in trouble, if you do get in a spot where you can't twist it out and you don't want to break the lateral itself by squeezing on this, uh, just go ahead and take a set of pliers and get right on this edge right here because that's going to be right up against here and just give it a turn on there and you should be able to twist them out of there so make sure you clean these up really good especially through here and on here you don't want any sand on there when putting these back in or it'll be a lot of trouble next time you go to do it so what we got left is the sand in here we'll go ahead and finish uh vacuuming this out empty this and then we can go ahead and start assembling everything back together and then adding our sand so next thing you want to do is go ahead and get yourself some magic lube because you have your drain plug down here and there's a rubber o-ring you want to go ahead and lube that up pretty good and then put your cap on and then you're going to want to start to fill it so get your hose ready so get your cap on magic lube this and then we'll start filling this up and you want to fill it up about halfway before putting any sand in there Now we can put our cap on. And 
and you can get it on there hand tight. Uh, once you start filling it with water, you'll see if you're leaking and, and it might need to be tightened up a little bit. So you just put a wrench on there and just tighten it up until you stop seeing it drain. But remember, just be careful because it is plastic. You don't want to try and tighten this down too hard because what will happen, you'll strip it out because it is just plastic. All right, let's go ahead and start getting water in here. And this is a good time to go ahead and get the whole rim here because you might have sand there and you don't want any sand getting in the way of your seal or anything. So get that really good. Make sure there's no sand in there. And now let's let it fill up to halfway. You could also take your laterals and blow them out as well. You want to go from the inside, inside here, out. Make sure they're free flowing. And you can get like a toothbrush or something if you need. And you can brush in between here, just be gentle. Once again, it is plastic. But most of it should just come right out. You can also clean this out really good. Get all the sand out of there. Clean out the top of your tube here too. And you could also inspect your tube, make sure this isn't clogged up with anything. Uh, it can happen if it's not in the right position, and you can even get it blow through it. And it's it's pushing air out through here, so we know that that's clear. All right, so we're about halfway full. We'll go ahead and turn the water off. And once again, just make sure you check down here if you see any leaking. Then just go ahead and tighten that up a little bit. And if these are really tight on you, uh, remember you can take this out with having one in there. But the rest you'd have to do inside. You could take a little lube and just put it on the outside here. Just like that. And then you can go ahead and insert that. And then go ahead and turn it and click it in this, in the place. So we'll go ahead and assemble the rest inside because this won't fit. Like you saw, you have to take them all off except for one to take this out. And we're gonna put this back in and we're just gonna work our way around. So one more to go. Let's get that in there. And there are little tabs on here to line up with the tabs on here. So you know where to put it in. Just pushes right in like that and then turn it clockwise and you'll feel it lock into place. So now we have all them back together. The laterals look good. We didn't need to replace any. But if you did, you just take the broken one with you. You could bring it to any pool uh, shop or if you know your filter, you can go ahead and look it up and get a new one. All right, so now you can take some tape and what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna tape off the top here because you don't want sand going down in this when you pour it in. 
uh, when you buy these brand new, they come with a top you can put on here and it actually holds it in the center there. But we can just go ahead and tape it. And once again, this is just to keep sand from getting down in there because otherwise it'll shoot out into your pool and you don't want that. All right. So we're all taped up. So now we can start adding sand and then we'll adjust this to keep it in the center and once the sand starts to hold it down we're all set and then we can really start pouring it in so if you were wondering uh the reason we made sure that this tube here was clear uh because this actually bleeds out the air so you want to make sure that this is free and clear and you can actually blow through it and this is going to be positioned up on top like this so when you're putting your sand in make sure that you keep this up above the sand because that's going to help uh, bleed out the air especially when it's running at high flow so if you're wondering what that is that's what that is all right let's start getting some sand in here and you want to work all the way around don't just pour on one side Just check your centering. Make sure you're good. Make sure it stays in the center. Now once it's in position and it's holding, you can go ahead and pour it in. And at this point, it doesn't matter if you pour it all on one side or whatever, because you can move it around with your hand. The main thing is just to get this in position first, have it hold, and then you can put the rest of the sand in. Now remember, you want to get all the sand off here, so just take your hose, after doing this, get all that sand off of there. All right, so at this point, you can go ahead and remove your tape that's on here. Now you don't need to worry about sand getting in there. It's not the end of the world if, if it does. It's just gonna shoot out into your pool so you'll see some sand. And actually on initial startup with this, you may see a little bit of sand uh, just from any tiny little particles and stuff, but it shouldn't be much. All right, so just like the O-ring on your drain valve there. You have one on here. So you wanna go ahead and get some magic lube or whatever type of pool lube uh, they sell. This is just what I use. And you wanna put that around the O-ring on here that seals over this. Now you wanna line up your bottom piece here with this tube here. You wanna make sure that goes right over that. And you can see how easy that slipped right on there. You can see some of the magic lube that squirted out, but at least you don't have to worry about dry rotten. Now we can go ahead and reattach our pieces here. And you wanna position these so you can get to the screws, obviously. And here's where the seam 
It's gonna go right in between here. It's gonna cap right around it and that's what's gonna hold it down. Now we can go ahead and start installing our hardware. And don't just put one side in and crank it down. You wanna go even on each side with these so that way it gets an even press around and you're not just squeezing on the one side and only have a little bit of grip there on the nut on the other side. Put that in there. Back that off a little bit. And your nut's gonna fit in there just like that. And you can just start it in. So that's that's in there loose. That's just to get it started. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll do a even tightness on each side. So you can see we got that much of the screw sticking out over here and over here the same amount so once you turn this on you'll see if it's leaking and you may need to just tighten it up a little bit but just be careful once again plastic so just tighten it up until you shouldn't yeah you know, i mean you shouldn't see any leaking to begin with uh if it's sealed properly but uh in order to tighten it up just go gentle with it and uh go from there All right, so we're all set here with the sand filter. Quick, simple, easy. Uh, now you know what to look for and little tips and tricks along the way. Uh, you got any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And make sure to hit that thumbs up, smash that thumbs up, it really helps out the channel. Uh, I appreciate it. And uh, as usual, we hope you like, enjoy, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.